Right, so, um, just to update you guys, not, you didn't miss anything, but right after I stopped the last recording, I suffered a crash, and it's a crash that I thought that I had fixed. I've been suffering it for a little while, where the game seems to want to freeze up after a certain amount of time, and so I've done some tweaking, uh, running it in borderless windows mode. Uh, some other things, you know, updating drivers and stuff, and I hope it's fixed. We will see. If not, thankfully, the crash seems to be pretty consistent on the time limit, and we'll find out. So, cat, stop making noise. Alright, onwards to Far Harbor. Nick, you getting on the boat? Hey, head over there. Get on the boat. Nick, go there. <sighs> I'm going without you, Nick. Oh, it moves. That's cool. It's not like just a fade to black like in the old Fallout games. I am a boat captain. I should have brought a captain's hat. I've got one. I've got one sent back at the castle. Nick's not on the boat, which is a little concerning. This boat's on autopilot. Seems to be. It's pretty useful. That looks freaky. Okay, Nick, you're gonna have to not phase through dimensions like that because that's kind of disturbing. Hello. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? Uh, tell me about the place. What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? No, I'm not here to add to them. How about your synth refuge? I need information about a synth refuge on this island. Ah, another Commonwealth traveler looking for Arcadia, then. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Yes, ma'am. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! Don't fall off. If you do, you might not be able to rescue you in time. Alright, go. Sounds like you don't have a lot of time, so you're gonna want to get up to that defensive position. Man the fall! Something's out there. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill. Oh, that don't sound good. I peeled everyone! I've got wounded out here. Mariner, there's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Helpers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! That really does not sound good. What? As if we haven't had enough. Holy crap. No, 
go. Eyes on the fog. Something's coming. We haven't had enough. Open the hull took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. I'm the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. Wow. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Hmm. All right, what, what kind of special tools? kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper, make it strong, and keep those blasted crabs out. Good. All right. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Guess I can put my gun up. Captain Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. All right, so you lost your island? What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. People have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. Hmm. If you manage to survive despite all that, it must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. All right, children of Adam. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. They worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Okay, so the fog got worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. Fog's gotten more lethal year over year. 
And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're headed for Acadia, huh. right? Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Okay, so who's Longfellow? What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. All right, thanks for the tip, though. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow is at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Protect your loved ones with my fine hand cap. Hmm. All right. Um. So I'm gonna try to keep these oh. about. Now that's some firepower there. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep these about 15-minute episodes. Uh, we're about 12 minutes in. You're that mainlander so. who just got here. Yes, I am. You better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. You sound crazy. You absolutely sound crazy, but I'm going to see what family you're what talking family about. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family. The Daltons was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war, it was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah! But now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when he wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn, shame. Alright, I'll avenge him. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Pete. Uh, something I've noticed is I had to go in and edit the Fallout 4 uh, I and I file, and it makes the little things that pop up on the top left, like, you know, you've leveled up, and I can show you here, like, 
right here on the pause menu, it makes that green piece slide just a little bit off. Damn, but that's a really small and damn the island for thing if, if it actually fixed the crashing issue. I don't know what was causing it to crash. It doesn't seem to be my mods. Okay, so that's not my pit boy. I need to go to the pit boy. And I leveled up. So, now that I've leveled up. No, oh, I can do the last level of Rifleman. More Commando. Get more from Salvaging. I think we're going to do another Strong Back. Because I ha I've neglected Strong Back. And my character's kind of, eh, he's not so strong. My carry weight has been suffering as a result. So, well, this will be a good spot for me to save.